Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Tournament of Flags redesigned videos. Today we are joined by our third co-host Alex Sendage. Today we'll be showing our redesigns for our least favorite Antarctic flags from the Antarctica video and reviewing them with each other to see which ones we like the best and which ones we don't. If you haven't seen our initial Antarctic videos where we ranked all of the 32 flags found in Antarctica, you can check that using the icon above, or you can check it out in the link in the description. This is my redesign for my fifth least favorite flag, the Ross Dependency Flag. Some of the major changes that I made was, of course, removing the British Jack, which would probably be the first step anybody would take redesigning this flag. And then I also took the white stripe at the bottom and I flipped it around to cut through the middle. I thought that was a, um, I thought it looked much better when it was sort of in with the rest of the flag. I thought at the bottom it looked very out of place, so I m verticalized the stripe. I, and also I just filled in the stars from red to white so it didn't clash with the background. And I put them on one side and then I kept a blank vertical stripe with the background color on the other side. Is verticalized a word? No, but it's fine. <laughs> it's care. used. Uh, I've heard verticalized and horizontalized used in other flag videos, so I just okay. sort of just, just said that. Just said okay. rotated. <laughs> okay. So, what do you guys think of my redesign? I really like this flag redesign. I thought the Ross dependency flag, the original one, was lacking a lot, and I definitely agree with the thing about rotating the white stripe to make it more vertical. However, I still feel like. The only thing is that the Southern Cross does feel disproportionate, but that's just part of the constellation. So, that's just my thoughts. I really like the new color scheme, as I thought the original one was pretty clashing. Um, the only thing I would change would be I would shrink the stars and move them over a little bit so that you could center the white stripe, just because then it would be a little bit more symmetrical. But I do think this is a great improvement over the original. This is my flag redesign for the Scottish National Antarctic Expedition flag. And what I did, I removed the lettering on it and then removed the actual Scottish flag part because, I mean, if I didn't do that, it would just be the Scottish flag and that's not really interesting. Um, and then in place of the letters, I added the triangles, which I feel like get, make it more minimalistic while also giving it some depth to it. I think this flag looks really good, um, really nice um, simplicity, basic design, really easy to s see, and also it's something that hasn't really been done before, so it makes this flag sort of stand out. You can feel sort of the Scottish vibe in it, but it's not so basic as to just be a copy of the Scottish flag, so I just think overall, really nice redesign. I really like this version of the Scottish National Antarctic Expedition flag. I feel like it does a great job of showing the symbolism within Antarctica, but still, like you said, um, having a unique version of a flag that really hasn't been done before. The only thing for me is that it's slightly too minimalistic. However, I would have ranked it high compared to a lot of the Antarctic flags. It reminds me a lot of the Antarctic Vexillological flag. That was the same, so it was not the same, but a similar kind of where you had the four triangles. Overall, however, it is a really good flag. This is my redesign for the Cooper and Tucker flag design, which I ranked last overall. And this is probably the one that I changed the least because I, I didn't do any drastic redesign. I just took the compass rose that was in the corner, scaled it up and replaced everything else because I thought there's really nothing you could do symbolism when rising. You can't revamp the whole flag because then it's not even really a redesign anymore. It's, it's just another design for Antarctica. So I just tried to make this flag just much simpler and get rid of like the sort of hideous symbols that were on it, like Antarctica and the penguin. And I just took the one symbol that I thought looked okay and I made, scaled up its proportions and just made this really simple orange flag with the compass rose. I think this flag does a really good job of encompassing what the Cooper and Tucker design initially was, no pun intended, 
I think by taking the symbolism used in the original design, you did a great job of making it into a more cohesive flag by getting rid of the worst thing, which is probably just slapping Antarctica on the flag, which looked good. Um, the only thing that I think would make this flag quite a bit better is if you had like a big S in the center of the compass rose. That way it would show that this is the true south versus it could be just a generic navigation flag. <clears throat> I also really like this flag design. I think the colors blend really well in with each other with the black and white almost like jutting out at you and then the orange being very calm and in the background. The only thing I would change about this flag is I would add something in the center of, a co of the compass rose to maybe distinguish it more as, you know, not ever not everybody knows like that that's a compass rose right on the spot. So I feel like adding another distinction to it to make it look more like the compass rose would be better. The first one that I redesigned was the South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands disc emblem design, which I ranked fifth to last of the worst flags there. For this design, I chose to keep a lot of the symbolism while changing it up quite a lot. I got rid of the British flag because who wouldn't? And then the disc emblem is why I ranked it so low. It's so awkward the way it transitions as well as just putting a seal on it, I feel as just being lazy, <coughs> US state flags. <coughs> then I went on Wikipedia and did a bunch of research on the history of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands. And I came out to this design. The white on the left represents the ice and the snowy mountains while the blue on the right represents the water. The two black stripes represent the whaling and sealing industry respectively, which is the main draw to South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands. And then the yellow represents the beaches as well as the sunshine. Well, I, I really liked this uh, flag. I thought that this was an, a massive improvement to the um, original um, flag, barely even recognizable, which is a good thing. I feel like you definitely found and invoked symbolism. I, I only have one criticism for this flag, and that is that the blue on the one side seems to be larger than the white stripe on the other side. I just think that it's, I think that might have just been a mistake on your part. It sort of pains me visually to look at this and all the thing. <laughs> and I think that if you just made them the same size, it would be a perfect flag. I still would probably rank this top five, or definitely towards the top five, of the flags much higher than any of the other British flags. I really like this redesign of the flag. I feel like it represents, you know, the industries and the actual geographical location of everything very well. Uh, I only have two complaints about it. One of them being the same as Charlie's. I feel like, you know, it is slightly off center, but you know, obviously very minor fix, probably just a mistake on your part. The other thing I would say is that the yellow, I feel like, contrasts a little too much with the blue and white, with them being very calm, natural colors, and the yellow being like striking standout color. I feel like if you either change that to more of a darker yellow-green color instead, I feel like it would look better. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, the reason I chose the yellow is because without it, with just the white, black, and blue, it's knockoff Estonia with bad proportions, so it really needed something in the center, as well as to, that's also there to kind of divide up the two whaling and sailing industries, so they are as two separate things. I suppose if you rotated the two stripes and then got rid of it, then it may be better. However, the yellow, I just needed something in there to break it up, so that's my reasoning behind that. So this is my redesign for the Graham Bartram flag, which was my second least favorite flag. I just thought it was too basic, not enough creativity put into it, so I did um, several things to this flag. I kept the UN blue background because I feel like that's the distinguishing feature of this flag. And I also kept a, like a oh, white object in the middle because I felt like the contrast between the colors wasn't bad, it just felt like I needed a different shape. I added a, bl a blue stripe in the middle to represent the ice um, sheets. 
the blue, like the blue ice sheets covering the continent. And then I changed, I, sh I rotated out the shape of Antarctica with a image of a circle and a star sort of combined. And I guess if I had to say that, uh, the, the, I guess there's a little bit of symbolism behind it. It's supposed to be sort of like a really basic looking bird flying over the ice sheet, like an Arctic term sort of flying over the ice sheet home towards Antarctica. My personal thoughts on this flag is that it's definitely an improvement from the Grand Bertram flag. However, it's not my favorite. I think if you were to center the star circle bird thing, that maybe it would be a little better. Or if you had a full circle in the center with maybe the outline of the top of the star to create a sort of bird. I just think it, it looks a little lopsided as well as the stripe in the middle is a little too thin. Uh, my compliments and criticisms are essentially the same. Uh, the only thing I would suggest is maybe instead of, um, you know, just centering it, you could instead add some sort of thing to finish this, the sphere, you know, either in a different color or like, almost like shadowing behind it. I think that would look really cool, but other than that, like, it's a really good redesign. This is my redesign for the bird Antarctic expedition flag. I thought again that the letters on it just didn't look good on a flag you know just creates like a language barrier and also makes it look cluttered so i removed those i centered the circle since it was slightly off center in the original flag and that just like messed with me so much so i centered that and yeah that's basically it okay well my my personal thoughts are i don't think this was an improvement but I don't think it made it worse because I did dislike that the circle wasn't centered I think centering it what made it better but I didn't hate the text on this one oddly enough I thought that the it was fitting for an expedition flag to have text on it of, and with an appropriate usage of it like not too bold so that it looks hideous because it's not something like a place that's going to be there forever so having your name on it sort of makes your mark. So I feel like without that, and there's nothing to distinguish this flag as part of the expedition. I agree as well as slightly disagree with Charlie. I think that this flag, no offense, was not an improvement. I think that the initial one was one of my favorites and I ranked it really high. And this is definitely a good flag. I would rank it high compared to a lot of the British Union Jack flags. However, I agree with Charlie in that the words kind of need to be there to distinguish that it's an expedition flag. Now, flags have different purposes for different uses. Expedition flags are definitely going to look different than country flags. If this is a country flag, it would be terrible altogether. The original and the redesign. But as an expedition flag, words aren't always bad as long as it's not overbearing so i see where you guys you're, you guys are coming from but also i feel like specifically in in antarctica it's supposed to be sort of like an international place so like there are a lot of countries that have done expeditions to antarctica or you know have scientific research facilities or anything else there and so i feel like it needs to be something that can be recognized internationally as well. And while I do agree that, you know, text when used well is good, I also think that on a flag that's going to be there permanently, it's a, it's not necessarily the best idea. The only um, counterpoint to that is that this isn't a flag marking the territory of Antarctica that's going to be there forever. It's a historical flag that they flew during this expedition to Antarctica to symbolize them arriving and this kind of historical moment so it's ra rather than a thing that's going to last forever but just a slice in time. My last flag that doesn't overlap with anybody's is this flag for the Marie Bird Protectorate which is a flag I really hated because of some of the off-centering in it and also because it was a colorized version of the Union Jack and the colors just don't work in that design so instead I painstakingly took this uh, flag and changed the colors to be horizontal stripes. 
I really like this fly. I think it looks very nice and modern, and of course it's not a recolor of the Union Jack, nor does it have the Union Jack on it. Only thing I would change is I would replace the blue with the white and the white with the blue, the dark blue. Because then I feel like it represents Antarctica because it's a body of land surrounded by ocean instead of, this kind of looks like a river with snow around it in that sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I have no concerns for this flag. It is a great flag. I do agree slightly with uh, what you said. However, I think this looks great as it is. So a million times better than the original. This is my final flag as well before going into the the overlapping sections. This was my flag for the French Southern Antarctic Lands Territory. Now for this one, I went the route of more of a country style flag because this is representing the land that it's holding. So I, again, once again, did research and figured out the symbolism behind the flag. So each of the stars on the first one represent the five territories and islands that they hold. I, I in the center, I added five stars representing those five territories. Additionally, it's sort of a play on the French flag being the blue, blanc, car rouge, or blue, white, and red stripes, and instead have the white representing the ice of Antarctic, the blue representing the water-based fishing and one of the main industries focusing on the ocean, and the brownish black is the volcanic ash from a lot of these volcanic islands. Okay, well, I think this flag is really nice. My one criticism would be maybe widening the third stripe so they're all equal. I really like this flag. I really like what you do with the stars. It's kind of hard to pull off a flag with stars well, but you managed to do it. The only criticism I have is maybe you should make the colors a tad bit brighter. Uh, I feel like it almost looks desaturated, but um, that's my only complaint. It looks really good. Okay, so now we're going to move into some flags that we all had, all or some of us had, on our top five least favorites. Starting with the Oliver Leroy design, which Alex and Ethan both had redesigns for. All I did for this flag is I evened out the stripes because I felt that the stripes being different sizes made it look very weird. And... I really like the symbolism on it, but I just felt like that was what's really holding it back. My change was a little bit more severe. I know that each of the stripes represent in proportion the emperor penguin, and so I kept a lot of the same colors, bringing it into three stripes, and in replacement I put a penguin design in the very center. I think both of these flag designs are definitely improvements to the really terrible olive and the Libra design. Um, but I do have a bit of a concern with both of them. For Alex Air Redesign, I thought one thing is four stripes. I don't know why, but it just doesn't look great to me on a flag. So I think removing the white stripe would make it look better. Just having those gray, orange and gray, and then the orange standing out in the middle. And I know that would remove, I guess, part of the symbolism, but I just don't think you need to include the white on the flag. And then uh, Ethan, for your flag, I liked it, I just think you need to simplify the Emperor Penguin even a little more mm -hmm. because it's just a little too complex for such a simple striped flag. I guess I preferred yours, Ethan, but if Alex, you remove that white stripe, I would have preferred. I, I do say, I, I'll say I prefer Ethan's over mine simply because um, of the actual penguin in the middle because even though you remove the white stripe, that still adds back some of the symbolism. Not to toot my own horn, as they say, but I also do prefer mine a little bit over. I mean, they're very similar designs. I just think there needs to be something in the center to still have that symbolism with the Emperor Penguin. And next up, we have the Principality of Arkel Micronational Antarctic Flag. For this one, I chose to keep it with this sort of monarchial um, vibes it was giving me. I couldn't find much research on the Principality of Arkel to really do any symbolism, so I kept the colors, adding one red stripe in the middle with two white on the outside, and instead I added a crown in the center. So 
I really didn't like the jagged blocks on the flag, so I changed that into three stripes. And also, um, I shrinked the stripes down just a little bit because I felt like they were pretty big, especially when you combine them together into uh, flat stripes. So I think of these two flags, um, I like them both. I both think they're huge improvements. We have a little bit of criticism for both of them. One, for yours, Alex, I thought yours was a little basic and it feels not uh, not very creative. I know the original Prince Pilot of Argo flag was definitely not an original design either, but I just feel like maybe you should have added some sort of creative flair. Most of my flags are, I was just taking um, the flag and changing it slightly to make it look better. It is, I like yours and just one criticism on my part. I think the circle should not have had a border. I thought that would have looked really great. It would have looked like two things like reaching out and like sort of like holding the crown in the middle yeah. and then it would have blended with the background too. I just feel like the the circle makes it look like a seal and I feel like if you blended it, if you made it part of this flag, then it would have looked great. To be honest, I didn't even think of that. However, that is a great idea. I totally agree. I have a similar complaint to Charlie with the circle in the middle having a stroke on the outside. The only thing I would do is I would change it to red and make it thicker because I feel like that would be more like the two sides were reaching around something and like coming to an agreement rather than they're getting stopped by like this force. I feel like it symbolizes something a little bit more friendlier. Alex, your redesign was definitely an improvement. However, it is still simplistic. Even something as simple as adding a symbol into the center or around it or just something to make it a little more different i feel like that would have really helped although i understand where you're coming from where you're trying to make it similar but i just don't i, I think it's a little too similar to the original flag is very close to a lost cause <laughs> like yes. the original yes. flag <laughs> one flag that all three of us had on our least favorites and all three of us redesigned it was the ronnie antarctic research expedition and i feel that this is a terrible flag and, I th and let's i guess take a look at our uh, each of our redesigns and we'll see what we think about each other i, I just want to make a comment about the flag real quick i noticed that the font they used for ronnie antarctic research expedition is a free font included with windows <laughs> which means that someone spent about 10 minutes making this <laughs> I might. I think that might have been a coincidence, actually. Because it was probably around before. It was so. made in 1950. Yeah, but like the actual, a lot of typefaces still existed back then. So I'm sure this was implemented into Windows later. But like, it is definitely the same font, and <laughs> it it really makes it look like someone made this in 10 minutes. Especially today, where you know someone, you know, just looking at this would be like, oh. That's from Emma's paint, <laughs> or, you know. I really struggled redesigning this. There was absolutely nothing to go off of. My initial one, reading about it, was there was something, some story about green-haired people. So I attempted to do that, but it, it was just a lost cause. You saw that flag. Yeah, maybe, that was... maybe we can put it up here, eh? Yeah, it looked more like a satirical design than an actual flag. It was terrible. I scrapped it. I came up with this design. It closely resembles the Ronnie Antarctic Expedition, but I don't even like my own redesign because I really felt like there was nothing to work off of. My redesign, I kept the diamond because I didn't hate the diamond, and I um had a sort of a half circle in the middle and then a red line stretching across the diameter of the diamond and then I had the acronym for the expedition and red lettering below that and like Ethan said I really didn't know where to go with this flag so I don't love my redesign I felt I made it better but I didn't feel I made a good flag because there's really nothing you can do short of scrapping it entirely that makes this flag better so my flag I mean, obviously, you probably know I removed the text, but like this one, I really felt it was a lost cause. Like even with the acronym, especially with the color scheme on this flag, it really doesn't look very good. So I just scrapped that entirely, and my design is actually pretty similar to Charlie's. Instead of the 
sunset thing in the middle, I just added a smaller diamond in the middle because I felt the color scheme was okay, but that like the text made it too complicated and really not a good. Alex, of all of the redesigned flags for the Ronnie Antarctic Research Expedition, yours was by far the best. Um, I thought yours did a good job of simplifying it down. Well, I know me and Charlie's, we still included a lot of the words, which may be necessary. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't have thought of this, which for something so similar really does a lot better job. Yeah, I definitely liked Alex's flag better than any of the other flags. And also, no offense to your, your flag, Ethan, I feel... Yeah. I really hated your redesign. And yeah, I, me too. <laughs> it, it felt like, in my opinion, I disliked... I, I, I liked it even worse than the original. Ooh! I, shots <laughs> fired! I, I felt that... You like it worse than yes. the original? Yes, I... I feel that... <laughs> The acronym takes up as much space as the original words, but just as bigger. And I think that the stripes, the diamond's more creative than stripes, and I just, I just feel like. I, I yeah, I, I understand where you're So from. individual criticism for your flags. I know you, I know all of us didn't have a lot to work off of. Mm -hmm. uh, Ethan's only thing I would say is the black text with the gray and red uh, doesn't really blend well. But I don't know if making the text red would be better. So I would say there was there's something that could be done about that, but I don't necessarily know exactly what it would be. Uh, Charlie's, yours kind of looks like a dare poster. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> well, I, I, I like where you're coming from, but I think if you had just removed the text, yours probably would have had an edge over mine. <laughs> I think that was just kind of what was holding it back. Well, that's it for our redesigns for the Antarctica flags. Join us next time where we will rank the U.S. state flags and a follow-up video, redesign them like we did today. We had a lot of thoughts on these flags. I'm sure you have a lot of thoughts on these redesigned flags, so let us know down in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, give it a like. It helps others find the video. If you like this channel, you can subscribe. It's free, you know, as always. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.